first up, we add the dry yeast to the water. Give it a whisk and allow it to activate for a few minutes. And then we add our strong bread flour. Give it a nice big whisk until nicely combined. Cover with cling film and leave in the fridge for 10 hours or overnight. The next day, our Polish is looking beautiful. Nice and active and bubbly. And here we go, four basic ingredients. We've got our flour, our Polish, our salt and our water. First up, we add the water to the bowl. And then our beautiful Polish. The flour. Then finally, the salt. Get yourself a spoon and give it a nice big stir. Scrape down the side of your bowl. Cover with a freezer bag or cling film and let it rise for about 40 minutes. Here's our dough, doubled in size. Now rub a bit of water on the table. This is to prevent the dough from sticking as you slap and fold. All right, now wet your hands. Lift the dough up and let it fall down on itself. This technique is called the slap and fold method. Slap and fold, slap and fold, nice and easy. Let the dough do the work for you. Then we throw that back in our bowl and we're going to let it rise for another 40 minutes. And again, cover with a freezer bag or cling film. And here we are 40 minutes later, bit of flour on the table, then our dough and a little bit of flour on top. All right, I'm gonna weigh these off now at 300 grams. You'll get six baguettes. And there you go. Six equal pieces, 300 grams each. A little bit of flour on top. 
knock a bit of the air out, stretch, and fold it in on top of itself. You just want to tighten it up a little bit. Then give it a little roll. And here we have it from another angle. Stretch it out, fold it into the middle, push down, fold, push down, fold, and give it a little roll and tighten it at the same time. There you go. Done. Okay, these are the finished pre-shaped baguettes. A little bit of flour and cover with a freezer bag for about 15 minutes. Now, get yourself a nice tea towel and give it a good sprinkle with flour. Lift up the end and stick it against the side of the wall. Right, here we go. Time to shape the baguettes. A little bit of flour. Get our baguette. Knock the air out. Pull the sides into the center and fold it down on top of itself. Fold, press. Seal, then give it a little roll. And afterwards, you transfer it to your tea towel. Now you pinch up the sides. You want to create a space between each baguette. Use a tin or something to keep it in place and then cover with a tea towel for 45 minutes to 50 minutes. I've no room for this one, so here's a little close up. And that's it. You just want to roll it in nice and easy and seal it and give it a nice roll at the end.
Preheat your oven to 230 degrees Celsius at least 45 minutes before you bake. Now I took these a bit too early. They only had about 35 minutes. Stick them on a lightly oiled baking tray. Get a blade or a knife and give it a few slits. Now place the baguettes directly on your pizza stone and bake for about 18 minutes. Throw in a glass of water. These had 10 minutes more proving time, so they're ready when they look like this. Bake directly on your pizza stone. And remember to throw in a glass of water. This will make the baguettes nice and crisp. And that's it. Chris's French baguettes with Polish. Beautiful. Look at that. All right, folks, that's it. Please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel for regular updates and I'll see you next time. There we go. Look at that.